Namaste everybody, welcome to Yoga Candy and welcome to today's class. My name's Candice and this is a class that you guys have been requesting. It's a little bit more of an intermediate feet up flow for you. So if you're a total beginner, I recommend taking a look at my feet up playlist. In there, there's a seven day beginner series, which I recommend you start with and just keep practicing. And even if you are a little more intermediate and lifting your feet is too scary still, that's okay, just do whatever feels right for your body today. A couple of safety tips. When you are upside down in your trainer, try to look straight ahead instead of down at the floor or trying to look behind you. This will just keep your neck in a much more neutral, safe position. And if you don't understand something I'm asking of you while we're in our inversion or before we get into the inversion, just pause the video, take a look at what I'm doing and then give it a try. And that way you can keep really safe and not try to look at the screen and, and aggravate your neck in any way. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's class. It's gonna be quite minimal cues. I will add little bits here and there. So it's not just gonna be calling out a pose name, just to try and keep some safety as well while we do these inversions. But if you don't understand yoga very much, then as I say, please try the beginner stuff first. Right, let's begin. So we're going to start off in a downward facing dog holding on to the wooden part of our trainer. So come into your down dog. You can keep your knees bent to start with, but we're gonna just start to walk our dog, just warming up through the hamstrings. We'll do a little warm up flow before we start to invert. So as you walk your dog, try to push your heels down towards the ground. Suck up through your belly. And then when you're ready, become still. And we're gonna take three deep breaths, tuning into the body. Look between the legs or close your eyes. Take your three deep breaths in your down dog. From here, on your next exhale, roll your spine forward into a plank. Hold your plank for a deep breath. Exhale, roll back to down dog. Take another one of those. Exhale, roll forward to plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank one more time. And this time lift your right leg off the ground. Just hold it and then take it down. This time lift the left leg off the ground. Hold it and then take it down. Take it back to down dog. Take a nice deep inhale here. On your exhale, look forward and jump towards your trainer. Inhale, straighten your spine and look straight ahead. Take your hands off of your trainer, hands at the heart center. Exhale, fold. Allow your head to fall between the trainer. Hang on to each elbow. Become a heavy rag doll. Bend your knees as much as you need to until your hamstrings are warm enough today. Take one more deep breath in your forward fold. And then inhale, take your hands to that middle bar of your trainer, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on all the way to standing. Watch your hands as they touch above your head and draw them down to the side body. Lift up off of the left leg, straighten it out in front of you if possible or keep it bent. And exhale, roll forward, keeping that foot off the ground. Look directly between the trainer, taking that left leg straight behind you for warrior three. Hold it and then take a big step back. 
into a high lunge. Inhale your hands to the sky, look up. And exhale, open to warrior two. Look beyond these right fingertips. Shoulders away from the ears. And now roll forward. Take your hands to the wooden part of your plank. Come up off the back leg. Lift it up or up into the sky and draw your head between the bars. Taking your shoulders onto the padded part of the trainer. Keeping your right foot on the ground. Lift your left leg as high as you possibly can. Taking a standing split. You can come onto the tippy toes of the right foot. Wherever you are, look straight ahead and hold that left leg in the sky. Hold it, hold it. And then maybe you come up off of your right leg. Coming into a full inversion. Perhaps keep your legs in an L shape. Look straight ahead. Have your right leg pointing directly straight, in for straight forwards. Parallel to the mat. And your left leg pointing up towards the sky. Now bicycle their legs. So bicycle, swap them over. So the right leg is facing up towards the sky. Keep your breath deep. The left leg is parallel to the ground. Hold this L shape. Look straight ahead, suck your core back. One more deep breath. Now start to bicycle your legs. Take three each side. Take one more and then stop with your left leg lifted and your right leg 90 degree angle to the mat. Very slowly come back to your standing split, suck your core back, bringing your right leg as close to your trainer as you possibly can and then exhale, release this left leg down to the ground, pulling yourself out of the trainer with the strength of your arms, step back. So now we're in pyramid pose with our hands on the wooden part of the trainer. Just rest your head. Bend the knee if you need to at the front if, it's, if your hamstrings are not warmed up enough yet. And then roll forward into a runner's lunge with your hands on the trainer still. Now step back with this right foot and we're coming into our downward facing dog. Walk your dog a moment. And then become still. Take three deep breaths in your down dog. Look forward and we're going to jump to the top of the mat, just to the outside edge of our trainer. Exhale, fold. Fold between the trainer, grab onto each elbow. Rest heavy, become heavy like a rag doll once again. Bend your knees as needed. Take one more deep breath. Inhale, halfway lift, taking your hands to the wooden center bar of your trainer. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, one more time. Exhale, fold. Now roll your spine all the way to standing mountain pose. Inhale, look up as your palms touch. Exhale them to the side body. 
This time we're going to lift up off of the right leg, lift it up towards your chest. If you can, straighten that leg. From here, keeping the leg off the ground, start to send it back behind you. For our warrior three, look down between the trainer, extending back behind you. You can take your hands alongside your body, wherever they feel comfortable. From here, take your hands down to the wooden part of the trainer and lower your head between the cushion. Bring your shoulders comfortably between the cushion and we're coming back to our standing splits. This time your right leg is lifted. Your left leg is on the ground. It can be pointed on your tippy toes. Lifting that right leg using the glute, lift it as high as you possibly can lift it. Suck your belly back. Take one more deep breath. If you're still too nervous to come into a full inversion, then stay here. Or we're going to come on off using our core, keeping our left leg at a 90 degree angle to the ground, our right leg up straight towards the sky. Suck your core back and hold this L shape with your legs. Take two more deep breaths. Now bicycle your legs and end in the opposite direction. So you're having your right leg at a 90 degree angle to the ground, your left leg lifted towards the sky nice and straight. One more deep breath here. Now bicycle the legs three times each side. Playing around with balance here. Try to keep as stable as you possibly can. And then come back to your L shape. Left leg 90 degree angle to the ground, right leg to the sky. Very slowly bring these left toes back towards the ground. Suck your belly in and bring them as close towards your trainer as you possibly can. Keep the right leg lifted just for a moment. <sighs> Using the strength of your arms, push your head out of the trainer, bringing your right foot down to the ground. Now we're in our pyramid pose on the opposite side. Holding onto the wooden part of the trainer, just rest your head down between your arms. Keep your body nice and long and suck your core up and back. Roll forward into our runner's lunge. Look forward. Sink the hips low. And inhale, come up off of the bars, inhaling into a high lunge. Hands to the sky. Open your heart, lift it to the sky. And exhale, open up, warrior two. Look beyond the left fingertips this time. Roll forward, taking your hands to the wooden part of your trainer. We're going to step back to plank. Hold your plank. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, take a chaturanga. Draw the elbows close to the body. <sighs> inhale, back bend. Look up to the sky, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold your dog. Take two more deep breaths here. Yeah. 
exhale, roll forward to plank, suck up through the belly. Now take your right hand off of the wooden part of the bar, take it down to the padded part. Take the left hand and place that elbow onto the padded part. Sink lower in the hips, coming down onto our forearms for a forearm plank. Hold this. Suck your belly up. One more deep breath. Walk your feet close towards the trainer. Ah, exhale, fold, hold onto the back of the trainer for your forward fold. Onto the padded part just behind it, hold on. Sink your head between your hands, between your arms. As you hold on, allow your bum to kind of fall towards the mat. You're keeping your legs as straight as you can. This will add a little bit of a stretch down the spine. Almost like we're elongating our bodies. Take one more deep breath here. And roll forward. Take your hands to the wooden part of the trainer, dipping your head between the padded part, getting nice and comfortable. Come onto your tippy toes, suck your core back and hold this, keeping your legs close to your body. So it's just your bum up in the air at the moment. And then when you're ready, if you possibly can, we're gonna take pike legs. So we're keeping our legs zipped together nice and strong, using the core both of our feet this time are parallel to the ground, keeping our legs straight, suck your core back. Your bum will be a little further back than your head and your pike. Don't worry if you lose balance and come back down towards the ground. Then just meet me back here when you're ready. Or just stay in a forward fold and lift one leg if you're not ready for this. Hold your pike and just breathe, sucking your core back towards your spine. Keep your feet pointed. From here, let's open our legs. So we're taking a wide-legged pike. Our legs are still 90 degree angle to the ground. Look straight ahead, something that isn't moving will help you. Keep your legs as wide as you want them to be. Then draw them back to the centre, back to pike. Zip your legs together. Let's do that three times and you'll feel a little bit of a shift in your balance as you open and close your legs. So open. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, close, zip them together. You'll notice your bum sends a little further back as you zip them together. Inhale, open. Exhale, zip them together, close the legs. And again, inhale, open. Exhale, zip them together, close the legs in your pike. Now inhale, straighten the legs all the way up to the sky. Hold them up to the sky, suck your belly back. And then very slowly come back to your pike. And as slowly as you can, draw your legs as close to your body as you possibly can, sending your back even further back towards the wall behind you. Look at your toes. Your, your thigh should be against your belly. Your feet still lifted off the ground. Very slowly bring your feet down to the floor. Ah, as close to the trainer as you can possibly get them. With your bum still in the air, we're going to very slowly pull ourselves out of our trainer and exhale, fold, forward fold. In your forward fold, just take your hands either side of the mat and open up through the heels so you're 
big toes are touching but your heels are a few inches apart. Become heavy in your fold once again. Bend your knees if needed. We're going to take our hands either side of the neck and just very gently rest your palms interlacing the fingertips and resting the palms against the back of the neck. Holding that, not putting any pressure, just the natural weight of your hands will be more than enough. Adding a little bit of an extra stretch down through the spine and through the neck. Suck your belly back. Now release, inhale, halfway lift, hands to the center bar, look forward. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands back to the trainer, bend your knees, open your feet out hip distance, exhale back, we're coming in for our chair pose, sink your hips down towards the ground and you can lift your toes off the floor, make sure your knees are not exceeding your toes. Suck your belly back and exhale fold. Take two more, inhale chair pose. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale for chair. And one more. Exhale, fold. <sighs> and roll your spine all the way into standing. Inhaling the hands to the sky, look as they touch. Exhale them to the heart center. <sighs> Come up off the left leg. Bring it up towards your chest. Suck your belly back and only if you can straighten the leg. Take a big step behind you, high lunge. Inhale the hands to the sky, look up. Exhale, warrior two. Look beyond these right fingertips. Roll forward, take a grip of the wooden part of your trainer and step back, downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank, taking a chaturanga, exhale down. Inhale to your back bend and exhale downward facing dog. Look forward, step between as close as you can to your trainer. Ah, give your legs a little shake about and then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, fold. Let's roll our spines all the way back to standing, inhaling the hands to the sky, look at the palms as they touch. Take a mini back bend and exhale, hands to heart center. Come up off the right leg, hold it towards the chest, suck your belly back. If you can, and only if you can, straighten the front leg. And then take a big step behind you back into a high lunge. Inhaling the hands to the sky, look up. Take a little back bend and exhale, warrior two, open up through the hips, through the arms, look beyond the left fingertips. Roll forward, taking your hands down to the wooden part of the mat and step back, downward facing dog. Look between the legs, take a deep breath in through the nostrils. Exhale, roll the spine forwards into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale back, downward facing dog. 
<sighs> become still in your dog and let's take three deep breaths just hanging nice and heavy Now inhale, look forward, jump close towards your trainer and exhale down. Take your head between the nice soft part of your trainer, taking your shoulders onto the padding. Lift your bum up to the sky, come onto your tippy toes and slowly, very slowly, as slowly as you can, we're going to lift our legs into our pike, sucking the belly back. From your pike, cross your right leg on top of the left. Maybe only once, maybe twice for eagle legs. And then start to straighten the legs once they're in eagle. Straighten them up towards the sky. Suck your belly back. Hug your thighs close towards each other. If you can't wrap your legs twice, just wrap them once. If you need to pause the video and see what I'm doing, then do that. Hold this. One more deep breath. Start to bend your knees towards your chest while your legs are an eagle. Keep them at this 90 degree angle. As if you're sitting in a chair with your legs wrapped together. Remove the wrap of the legs. And keep your legs bent as if you're sitting in a chair. Keep your toes pointed towards the sky, knees 90 degree angle to the mat. Look straight ahead. Straighten your legs back to pike. 90 degree angle to the mat. We're going to do it the other side, taking the left leg on top of the right, either once or twice for our eagle legs. From here, straighten the legs towards the sky as best you can. Take a nice deep breath here. And then bend your legs as if you're sitting with eagle legs once again. Knees are 90 degree angle to the mat, feet are painted, pointed up to the sky. Release the wrap. Keep your legs in a seated position. Thighs 90 degree angle to the mat. Toes pointing towards the sky, looking straight ahead. Come back to pike legs and very, very, very slowly draw your legs as close to the wooden part of your trainer as you can and step them down. Start to walk your feet back a little. Push yourself out of your trainer. Your feet should be about, ah, about a foot away from your trainer. Grab onto the other side of this padded part and exhale, fold. So now your body's around a 90 degree angle to the mat. Just sink between the arms, keep the shoulders away from the ears. You can always bend your knees if needed. Keeping your arms where they are, start to roll forwards. So now your shoulders are in line with your elbows. We're going to step back into a forearm plank once again. Suck your core back. Hold your forearm plank nice and strong. Take one more deep breath here. And exhale, walk your feet closer towards your trainer. Come onto your tippy toes as if you're doing dolphin pose. So push up and out of the shoulders. And then release, exhale, fold forward. Hang on to each elbow, we'll just allow your hands to hang towards the ground. From here, inhale, halfway lift, look up. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Plant your hands in the wooden part of your trainer. Step back into plank. Now exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, meet me in downward facing dog. Find your dog. Keep nice and long through the body, through the spine, all the way to the tailbone. Look between your thighs. Take three deep breaths. Exhale, roll forward to plank. And exhale, chaturanga one more time. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Take one breath in your down dog here. And exhale, roll forward back to plank. From here, we're gonna take a side plank. So roll onto your right hand nice and slowly, inhaling the left hand to the sky and stack your feet if possible. If that's not possible, just put one foot in front of the other. Hold for one more deep breath. And then roll forward back to plank. Let's take it to side plank on the other side. Inhaling the right hand to the sky. Stack your feet if you can. One more deep breath. And then roll forward back to plank. From here, walk your feet a little closer. And we're gonna do our last inversion of the day. Come on forward, taking your head down into the trainer. Get as comfy as you can. Suck up through your belly. Bring your feet as close towards the wooden part of the trainer as you possibly can. Sending your tailbone to the sky. Suck up through the core. And as slowly as you can, we're gonna come into a full headstand inversion. Look straight ahead. Slowly come up off the mat. As slowly as you can into pike. Keeping the legs drawn together, suck your glutes together. And very gently bring yourself into a full inversion. Let's hold this for five deep breaths. You may wobble about a little bit, that's okay. But be as still as you possibly can, sucking the core back, taking deep breaths. Open your legs into a, a wide split. So into a wide-legged split. Hold that for three breaths. Exhale them forward into pike. Legs are a 90 degree angle to the mat. Point your toes, look straight ahead. Hold this for three breaths. Draw your knees together, keep your knees together, sorry, and draw them open, feet together. Taking your knees down towards your elbows. Rest your knees on your elbows. Keep your toes together, suck your core back. And just hold this for three breaths. Now lift your leg, your knees off of your elbows. 
as if you're in a seated position once again we're going to exhale twist the body so your knees are facing towards the right side exhale them down towards your right elbow hold this just for a breath and inhale back to a seated position rotate your hips so your knees are pointing towards the left drawing your knees down towards your left elbow take a deep inhale exhale back to center straighten your legs back into a pike and very slowly draw them down to the ground Take your hands onto the wooden part of the trainer if they're not already there. Walk your feet slightly back and move yourself out of your trainer. Take your hands behind the padded part of your trainer and just sink heavy. Allow your neck to become heavy. Tuck your core back towards your spine. And from here, we're going to start to bend through the knees and sitting, bringing our sit bones down to the ground, taking a seat. From our seat, we're going to roll our spines all the way down to the ground. So as slowly as you can, take your hands out in front of you and roll your spine all the way down to the ground, vertebrae by vertebrae. <sighs> Coming in for a nice little rest here. Just for a moment, open your feet as wide as the mat, bring your knees together. Take your hands to the core. Close your eyes and allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. We're gonna be here just for a couple of breaths. And release your knees. Open up and take a happy baby. We're going to take our knees as wide as our, wider than our body. Grab the outside edges of your feet if this is possible. Keep your bum down towards the ground and just start to roll. Maybe rock from side to side. Keep your feet engaged so that the soles of the feet are parallel with the roof or with the sky and become still and draw your knees as far down towards the mat as you possibly can and then release take your feet hip distance and inhale lift your hips to the sky taking a bridge pose suck your belly back And then very slowly roll your spine down towards the ground. <sighs> Make your way into a comfortable seat. Roll over to one side of your body. Push your way up into a seat. We're just going to end with a nice little stretch. Make yourself as comfortable as you can. Sit up tall through the spine. Hug your core back ever so slightly. Take your hands to your knees, close your eyes, and we're going to just roll the head from side to side. So roll your head from left to right, nice and slowly and mindfully, just taking a little gentle stretch of the neck. Now roll over towards the left side, allow your head to hang heavy on the left and extend through the right fingertips. Take your right fingertips down towards the ground, getting a slightly deeper stretch through the right side. You can go a little further, taking your left hand to the top of the head and very gently placing it on top. Now 
release the head, keeping the eyes closed. Place that right hand back on the knee and roll the head over towards the right side this time. Extend through the left fingertips, taking them down to the ground. Keep the elbow locked nice and straight. Breathe naturally here and maybe take your right hand, gently place it on the top of the head. Release the head, take your right hand back to the knee and then the left hand back to the knee and roll the neck one more time from one side to the other and then back to center. You can open your eyes, taking your right arm across the body. Sorry, I just need to move my mic one second. Taking the right arm across the body. Use your left hand underneath and pull it close towards you, giving a little stretch behind the shoulder blade. Maybe you can grab onto the elbow of the left hand, of the left arm. Sit up tall, draw your shoulders from the ears and look over towards the right side of the room. Take one more deep breath. and release that arm. Let's take the left arm across the body, take the right hand underneath, pull it closer towards you, maybe hold on to the right elbow. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and let's look over towards the left side of the room. Close your eyes if you want to. And gently release. Take your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, take them behind the head and lift your chest towards the sky, opening up through the shoulders. And then exhale, squeeze your elbows together, hug the core back. Don't pull on the neck, but just become nice and soft through the spine. Inhale, open the elbows, lift the chest, look up and take a deep inhale. Exhale, fold, drawing the elbows together, suck the belly back. Take two more. and release the arms. Take the arms behind you. Bring the hands as close towards your back, towards each other as you possibly can. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, lift your chest. Look up and hold this just for three deep breaths. Squeezing the elbows together, hands pressing into the ground. and release. Ah, roll your shoulders. Give them a big roll in one direction and then in the other. Last one, we're going to take our left fingertips over towards the left side of the, the mat and inhale your right arm up and over your ear, taking a little side body stretch twist your chest towards the sky and look towards the sky and exhale take it over towards the right side take your right fingertips or forearm down to the ground lifting this left hand up and over the ear look towards the sky stretch through the left side body tilt your chest towards the sky and release Back to center, give your body a little wobble. And let's take 30 seconds of complete silence together. So take a nice comfortable seat. You can always swap your legs around the other way. Sit up tall through the spine, roll your shoulders back and down. 
Take the top part of the hands onto the knees, palms facing the sky. Ah, allow your shoulders to drop towards the ground. Close your eyes and very slightly tilt your chin towards the sky. Allow any thoughts that come into your mind to pass. And together we breathe naturally. Just 30 seconds to allow our practice to sink in, to give gratitude for just how incredible the physical body is and how wonderful it is to be alive. Become aware of your breath and the tingling sensation in your fingertips. And together we'll be silent for 30 seconds. Okay, my friends, you can stay here in meditation as long as you like. I hope you've enjoyed today's class. Namaste. If you've enjoyed today's class, then feel free to tag me on social media using hashtag yoga candy and at yoga candy on Instagram. Until next time, everybody, keep enjoying your flows and I look forward to our next class together. Namaste.